Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to see how to install ISP Manager. Before that, I will talk about the types of licenses, the server requirements, and finally, we'll get to installing ISP Manager. ISP Manager has a very detailed documentation that can help you achieve anything that you're trying to do with the panel. If you want to read the documentation, view what is on the documentation, you need any help, you can come here under Community and then you'll go to documentation. So depending on what you're looking for, just go to the right documentation. In my case, I will be using ISP, Lite, Pro or Host, and we're going to see the limitations for each in terms of websites. Here you'll see that there is documentation for different things about ISP manager. If you're looking for answers for anything, you can always just come in here and find what you're looking for. For instance, if you want to install ISP Manager, you can just click there and you'll see that all the you'll see all the things that are related to installation will be here and you can just read more about it and follow the steps. If you're lost, you can always look at the documentation. Let's talk about the types of licenses. Even before we get here, let's come back here and let's look at pricing so that we can see the different ISP Manager licenses. Here you can choose the ISP manager type that you want. If you're looking for light, it will have 10 domains, limitations, 50 domains for pro, host, domain, unlimited domains. As for accounts, you can have unlimited accounts on all the ISP manager plans. So the business version is here and the business version is best for reselling. If you want to resell web hosting, then you can go with the business plan, which has unlimited number of domains, unlimited number of accounts. So let's come back here into ISP Manager. Types of licenses, we've looked at that. ISP Manager Lite will give you maximum of 10 domains, 50 domains for pro and host will have unlimited domains. And then the types of licenses, you can have commercial licenses. Once you update, you can upgrade to any of these commercial licenses or you can get a trial license. And that's the one that I'm going to use in this ISP Manager tutorial. And I'm going to show you how you can activate the license once we install the panel. The server requirement, make sure that the server is a fresh install. It is a clean server without anything else installed on it. As for the hardware requirements, just come, come into this page and look at them. You can see 1 GB RAM, 10 GB disk, disk space. If you have more than 10 websites, go with 2 GB RAM, 20 GB hard disk, and one virtual CPU. If you're going to run more than 10 websites on your panel, then go with two virtual CPUs, 3 GB of RAM, 50 GB space, just to make sure that you have sufficient resources to run all your sites. You can come to this page and look at all these requirements on the documentation they are under installation. And then for the supported operating systems, all my Linux 8, CentOS 7, Debian 10 and 11. In this setup, I'm going to use Debian 11. Ubuntu is also supported up to 22.04, but you should go with this because this is the one that I found works best and you can see it's also the one which is recommended here. Rocky Linux is also supported, Rocky Linux 8, VZ Linux is also supported. So just come here and go through all this and make sure that your server is compliant with all the requirements that have been provided on this page. Now the installation guide, let's go to the installation guide. You should have a virtual server that you can use. In my case, I'm going to use DigitalOcean. And here are the settings I've chosen for my droplet. I'm going to use Debian 11, 2GB server, 2GB RAM server, but you can use 1GB. And I'm going to use an SSH key to set up my server. And something else here on DigitalOcean, I can just put in that as my host name, and that's going to get added as my host name on the server. And I can use this to log into my panel after installation, as long as I've set up the A record for my DNS, and I will set that up in Cloudflare. And I will create my droplet. If you're following along with me, on Windows, download Git Bash. Download Git, it will, it will come with Git Bash. And that's what I'm going to use to set up my server. If you're on a Mac, you can use Terminal. If you're on Linux, you can use Terminal as well. So I'm just going to log into my server that I've just deployed. Okay, so I've deployed a droplet. I'm just going to copy that IP address and I'm going to add it on my Cloudflare 
with that as my host name. So I've added the IP address here for my A records for these two because I'm going to use this for some demonstrations at some point. So let's log into the server. Let's SSH into the server. My server was set up with SSH with an SSH key. So that's what I'm going to use to log in. If you didn't set up an SSH key, then you can log in with your password. Type yes. Control L. And then of course, the first thing you want to update the server before you even start installing the panel, update the server. So I'll let that run for a while and then we'll come back to installing the panel. Control L to clear the screen and then I'm going to come back into the documentation. For installation, you can go into documentation and then click on installation and then come here under installation guide. You're going to find all these steps. So we're going to download the installation script and then we're going to install it using the first command right there. So I'm just going to come back here and I want to do this inside of the temp directory. That's going to download the installation script. Even even before you continue, it's just a good idea to reboot the server because it's a new server and I also did some updates. So let me just reboot to make sure that everything is going to work fine. The installation will go without any hitch. So let's log back into the server, control L and I will CD back into TMP. So just go back and copy the command for downloading the script. And then we're going to install it. So I should have rebooted the server before downloading this, but it's okay. That's not a problem. I will control L to clear the screen and then I'll do shift insert on git bash to paste. And we can wait for the installation. Of course, you're going to select certain things. Here, the first one comes. Here's the first one. Do you want the beta version or do you want the stable version? We're going to go with stable. What version do you want to install? I will go with number one. You should also go with number one. The one that comes with the recommended software for the ICP Manager Lite Pro or the host version. So I'll go with number one. Which server would you like to install? If you want to run Open Lightspeed, you can go with number two, but I'm going to go with number one. If you're following along with me, with me, just go with number one. This is something you can change later on in the panel. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. When we do an ISP manager overview, I'm going to show you how you can change the server. So I'm just going to go with number one. And then in this case, I'm just going to choose my SQL. So just let the download continue. And once it is done, I'm going to come back and we're going to log into ISP Manager. This installation takes a while, so just give it time to complete. Just be patient and wait for the installation to complete. There we go. Finally, the installation is complete. You can log in using your IP address. Since I added my hostname on Cloudflare with an IP record, I can use that to log in. tutorio.xyz and then you add the port. There we go. Proceed. I need a login and a password. So what do they say? They say that my login is root and the password for root. So I don't know my root password. So I'm just going to set one. I don't remember my root password. I want to set this up as my password. Pass WD for root. This will help us change the password. Shift insert to paste. Shift insert to paste. So the password has been updated successfully. So I can use that to log in. Control V, the password. 
and then login. Accept the end user license. I agree. The next step would be for you to activate your license. So if you already have a paid license that you bought, then you can activate it. But I'm going to get a free trial license and I'm going to show you how you can activate it right now. So you can click there or you can just come down here under license management. And this is where you can activate. This is where you can add your license key if you already have one. You can click there on activate license. If you want to buy one, you can click on buy. If you already have a license, you can get your license and just paste it in here from wherever you bought it from. I'm going to create an account on ISP manager and then I'm going to generate a license, a free trial license that I can use here. You can also just click up there and you can click there, choose tariff and that's going to give you this option. You can see here you can generate a free trial license. You can also buy the Light Pro or host licenses. But I'm just going to go with the free trial. I'm going to click on select. I'm going to click on register to create an account. And then email address at outlook.com. I will accept all this. And then register. All right, now you're inside of your ISP, ma ISP manager account. Here under products and services, you can get your license, ISP manager licenses. So you can see, I don't have a license. If I click on order, I can get a free trial. So I will order the free trial, order. And I can just click on activate. Let's first of all verify this. So just check your spam folder to ensure that you're not missing out on the email. So you can check your spam or your junk email folder to activate your account. Now we can continue. So you can see one has already been ordered. Free trial for my IP. So I can just delete this one because I seem to have regenerated another one. If you want to do anything with it, you can edit it. So while I'm here, if you want to change the IP address for your license, just click on edit like I've done and then you can change the IP address here. Maybe you change your server IP. You can add the new IP address there. So I'm going to copy my license. So if you change anything, make sure you click on OK. You can also regenerate the key. So coming back to my panel, under license management, I can click on activate license. I will paste in the license and then activate. We want to make sure that our license is active. So if I refresh the page, you'll see that my trial has been activated. If you have a working license, you can just activate it in the same manner, right? So just come here under license management and you can activate your license. You can order your license from ISP manager. If you come here under licenses, you can order a new license. There you go. So that's how to order your license. And just a recap, if you want to change the IP address for your license, just come back under ISP manager licenses, click on it and then click on edit. And then you can change your IP address there. All right, that should pretty much cover this tutorial on how to install ISP manager. Just a recap of what we did. We first of all deployed our server, downloaded the installation script, installed it like that. Then we created our account and generated a license. If you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out. I will be happy to help you in any way if you're struggling with the installation process. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.